In the somber depths of a fateful afternoon, the hands of time aligned with malevolence, forever etching an indelible scar upon the unsuspecting town of Norco. At precisely 3.40 p.m., as the sun's dying rays cast an eerie glow upon the horizon, chaos erupted. Five figures emerged from the shadows. Armed to the teeth with an arsenal of destruction, they embodied the embodiment of terror itself. Shotguns, G3 rifles, HK-93s, handguns, AR-15s, a gleaming katana, instruments of devastation held with malevolent intent. Their target, the very heart of security, the Norco branch of Security Pacific Bank. But this was no ordinary heist. This was a descent into madness. As the doors of the bank swung open, pandemonium ensued. The air thickened with the acrid scent of fear, mingling with the metallic tang of gunpowder. Innocents cowered beneath the weight of impending doom, as screams of terror harmonized with the symphony of shattered glass and splintering wood. The forces of law and order, guardians of the peace, bore witness to the unfolding nightmare. But they were ill-prepared for the wrath that awaited them. A sheriff's deputy, a valiant soul sworn to protect, fell victim to the relentless onslaught, his life extinguished in a blink of an eye. The streets became a battlefield. The defenders of justice fought valiantly, but the odds were stacked against them. Gunfire erupted like thunder, each shot a damning proclamation of defiance. Thirty police cars, once symbols of authority, now lay crippled and mangled in the wake of the tempest. Blood painted the pavement, a grim testament to the price paid in the pursuit of justice. Eight law enforcement officers, their bodies pierced and broken, clung to life's fragile thread. A civilian, caught in the crossfire, became an unwitting casualty of this macabre symphony. But the malevolence was not without consequence. Two of the five perpetrators met their demise, their souls condemned to eternal darkness. Yet the scars etched upon the survivors would forever haunt their waking hours, a reminder of the horrors they had witnessed. May 9, 1980, a day when Norco glimpsed into the abyss and found only darkness staring back. The legacy of that fateful afternoon lingers, a chilling reminder that evil can manifest even in the most idyllic of places, forever shattering the illusion of safety.